What is going on you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa Nero. For those of you that don't know who I am, hello. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I color my hair at home and get this nice shiny do salon quality hair right in your room. And this is coming from a licensed cosmetologist. I actually was a hairdresser for seven years. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks that I learned in the salon so you guys can get salon hair at home. The products that I'm gonna use are actually salon products. I'll put some links below so you guys can check out different types. What I'm gonna use is this Redken Chromatics. Um, also gonna use a clear gloss that I'm gonna be putting on the rest of my hair. So I'll show you guys how I do that while I give you some tips and tricks throughout the process. So make sure to subscribe you guys and like this video if you wanna see more stuff like this. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so these are the tools I'm going to use for my color today. I have some gloves. I'm gonna do 10 developer and I'll explain why. Um, I have a brush, a clip, and then I have, I'm gonna be using a clear gloss, like I told you guys, for my shine, just to refresh the ends and make everything really nice and bright um, and shiny, mostly shiny. And then I'm gonna use a four ash green with a five N for my roots and I will show you why I chose these colors. And that's all you pretty much need for your root touch up. Hey okay guys, so I did equal parts of the ash green and the 5N. So this is gonna, this is what it kind of looks like. I just did half of the two basically. And if I run out, then I can mix more. So I'm using it in 10 volume. Um, when you're depositing color, you just wanna do 10 because that's just going to deposit that color. You're not lifting. Um, if you wanna start getting into lifting, like, like let's say you wanna lift a little bit of your root, um, your hair color. If you have virgin hair, um, if you've never colored your hair, um, then you can do a 20 or 30 or something like that. You actually can't lift color with color. So what that means is you can't, you have color on your hair you can't remove that color with another color so the only way you're going to be able to lift with using a cream developer is if you have virgin hair so i'm just going to use 10 volume i'm going to do equal parts and then i'm going to mix this up so like i was saying with the color wheel um if you guys have you know a color in your hair that you don't like like for me i don't like red i have a lot of red in my roots so because of that red that I have in my roots, I'm gonna put that ash or that green. So if you guys check up on the color wheel, I'm gonna put right here. Um, whatever color is opposite, it cancels that color. So if you're just viewing, you know, like gold in your hair, or you don't like, you know, um, you feel like your hair's a little green, then you can always put that opposite color, add that, and that's what's gonna cancel that color out. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this. Um, as far as mixing goes, you always wanna do equal parts, um, meaning equal parts of the color and equal parts of the developer. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this. All right, so I'm going to start um, on, my, on my hairline and then I'm gonna go around the barrier of my entire hairline because I want that to be covered first. And then I'm also gonna go along. You guys can put a um, barrier cream, but I'm not gonna use a barrier cream today just cause I don't really need it. And basically what I'm gonna do is just go by each section and then probably like a mm, quarter of an inch sections wide and just color the root area. Uh, 
I actually grew out about an inch, so I'm gonna go a little more into my roots. All right, so now I need to go to the back. The back can be a little tricky. So as far as the back goes, I try to color and as far as back as I can when I'm doing the front. And then I just be very careful once I do hit the back to make sure that I get every single piece. So, looks like this is kind of where I started. And also I let my roots grow out a little bit more this time just because I knew I was gonna do it at home and that way I could be a little bit more messy with it because you don't really wanna go past the line of demarcation, which means um, past where your hair is grown because then you're getting into your, you know, the, your your actual colored hair, and that could change the color of your hair. So I'm just gonna pick up pieces, like kind of an inch wide. My hair is so knotted right now, and then I'm gonna do the back. really not a lot left um, this is the hardest part I feel like if you have somebody to come help you then that might be easier but for me I'm just gonna wing it by myself which you can do is now that I'm kind of done with like all of this I'm just gonna kind of clip it away so I can maybe reach the back better so I'm just gonna clip all this away But you really shouldn't be clipping this because it's gonna get the dark. So I'm gonna try to like not get the ends to touch the color because I don't want the ends to be colored. And this is all I pretty much need to do. All right, so we're gonna leave this on for about 25 minutes and then I'm gonna show you how to rinse it out and how to avoid this stain on the hairline, so. All right, you guys, so it's been about 30 minutes since I left this on. I'm about to rinse it off, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys a trick to make your head, I mean, make your skin not stained. So, um, like I was saying before, color removes color. So instead of putting the water right on it, which is going to absorb in your skin, um, you wanna just, I'm gonna go like this right before I hop in the shower to remove all the color on my skin. And then 
I'm going to rinse it with a warm to hot water because cold will make the color stick to the skin. So I'm gonna go rinse this off and I will be back. All right, you guys, so I rinsed it out and I actually put the gloss on and I left in the shower. So I put the gloss on for about 10 minutes just to leave my hair super shiny. And then the after products, I just used, these are the two products that I just used. See if you guys can see. So this is Kerastase and I did a Olaplex just on the ends. This one just on the ends because it gets super like, um, feels like product, a lot of product. So in this one, this care, I love Kerastase's um, products. I'm obsessed with them. They smell so good and they're just, mm, I love them. They're so good. So this one that I'm using is a, um, it's like a, uh, reconstructor and also <clears throat> like a protectant. So I'm going to style my hair right now. I'm going to blow dry it, curl it. So this is a thermal protecting as well. I'll list all the products as well below. So if you guys want to check it out, then you can check it out. All right, you guys. So this is the final look and it's super shiny because of the gloss, which I love. I love putting glosses on my hair. And like I told you guys, I didn't color any of this. This is just refreshed from the gloss and that's why it looks super shiny. And yeah, I love it. My roots are covered. So my roots are not blonde anymore. And I'll show you guys the, I use this, um, this IGK cream on, or it's not cream, it's a serum, but this is the best serum for the ends of your hair. Like, oh my gosh, this is, you guys have to get this and I'm not working for them. It's just the best serum I've ever tried. And every time I try to, every time I've given this to my friends, they absolutely love it. So you guys gotta check this out. It's called Crybaby. It's a smoothing serum. Um, whenever you guys use serums, make sure you use just a little bit. And I just use this kind of just throughout the ends of my hair to make it nice and smooth. And that's basically it. I don't put too much cause I'm in Miami and my hair gets super oily. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more like this, then comment and make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.